What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Ladies and gentlemen, after waiting a year and damn near eight months, after being starved for so long, PlayStation has finally announced the next PlayStation showcase will be next Wednesday, May 24th, 1 p.m. Pacific time, but nobody cares about Pacific time because God's chosen time zone is Eastern Standard Time, so it's 4 p.m. That's all that matters. That's all you need to know. But finally, finally, we know. I have very high expectations for this showcase. Let me make that very, very clear. After holding back so much content and information and being radio silent, it is my understanding, logically, that all these PlayStation Studios have been fucking cooking. You've been in that kitchen cooking. You've been accumulating. You've been working. So you should have a shit ton of games to show us. And I believe and I hope that's why the show is an hour long. I'm going to get into that. But I want to establish that my standards are very high because my standards are very high for PlayStation, you know, anyway. That's I expect nothing but greatness and the best from them. I don't want just an okay show. I don't even want a, want a great show. I wasn't impressed by the last PlayStation Showcase. If y'all remember, I gave the last PlayStation Showcase the one where they showed Spider-Man. It was just CG though. I gave that showcase a four out of 10. Most people called me crazy, but I wasn't impressed because it was mainly, you know, CG. And the games that weren't CG, we didn't get release dates, or I wasn't interested in those games. So that last showcase that happened like a year, year and, and, and fuck change ago, I wasn't impressed by. So to me, this needs to be like a top three PlayStation showcase ever. Top five at the least. This shit needs to be amazing. I won't accept anything less since you've been starving me for so goddamn long. So I just wanted to establish that. Just okay, good, great, decent. No, no, no. Fucking amazing. That's what I want and that's what I better get. So let me just read this real quick. They released uh, the announcement on, on Twitter, the PlayStation blog. Uh, it says, it's almost time to see what's next. Play, what's next. PlayStation Showcase broadcast uh, live next Wednesday, as I already said. The show will run a bit over an hour, focusing on PS5 and PSVR 2 games and development from top studios from around the world. Expect a glimpse, uh, a glimpse at several new creations from PlayStation Studios as well as spellbinding games from our third-party partners and indie creators. So we're going to see indie games, we're going to see PS5 uh, exclusive first-party games, and we're going to see PSVR 2 games, which is very important because people always question whether pl uh, PlayStation is going to continue to support, uh, you know, their peripherals and PSVR 2, you know, that was always in question. So, and I think they have some great PSVR 2 games in, in the pipeline. They have to continue to support that. So I think that's, obviously very important and of course you got to throw some indie indies indies in there um to support the you know the the indie developers because there'd be some great ones out there like i said i i've, I've always praised sifu sifu has been i think one of the best games this generation um so yeah they i expect to see a lot of shit that playstation has had has had cooking um and a lot of these rumors that we've been hearing about for a long time, I expect to see all of that. This shit is going to be over an hour long. If this is the cadence, if they, if they stick with the cadence and the rhythm that they have always done, oh yeah, I'm expecting nothing but the best. Because typically, their flow is game. They they don't do no talking. You no know, Jim Ryan may come out and uh you know do that little introduction that he that he does. But after that, it should just be gameplay trailer after gameplay trailer. Don't want to see a whole bunch of C CGI. I, that's always my thing. I want to see gameplay, right? And not not even that highly edited shit. I want to see some actual gameplay from the perspective of how the player would view it. I have very, like I said, my, that's what that's the type of shit I expect, right? And I I want to see the shit that's been rumored, like from third party and and first party. Like they've been talking about this this Metal Gear uh, remake. Shit for the longest, I expect to see that. Um, there's been, you know, 
other partnership rumors, you know, with with Konami and and some other uh, studios. Where I I think we're we're going to get the final answer answer on like shit like Bloodborne. If they don't show you anything Bloodborne related at this show, then they just don't give a fuck about Bloodborne. And I think we should completely give up on ever getting anything bloodborne if they don't mention it not a pc port not a sequel it's clearly they're they're just not fucking interested in bloodborne i i think that will clearly say that and that'll be a statement if it doesn't show up because at, at the bare minimum if you don't put out a port i think that means you just don't care about the franchise and you just don't believe in it um other things i mean there's been we know uh twisted metal has been rumored for a long long time i think that's what firewalk uh Ghost of Tsushima sequel. Most people like uh, Sucker Punch has been radio silent for a long time. Most people think they're working on a ghost sequel. I think we should get a confirmation on that. Factions. After waiting so long for factions from Naughty Dog, we are going to get that finally this Wednesday. That is going to show up here. It better. Trust me, it better. So a, a lot of these PlayStation um, multiplayer live service games that has been in question, those are going to be under under a microscope because it's it's still up in the air. People questioning them. Are they going to be good? Are they going to be able to survive? You got to have a really good demonstration and a really good showing. I think that's probably one of the most important things that they showcase is how you demonstrate these multiplayer live service games. I think you really got to have a good showing for that. Guerrilla Games, I, 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 think, I think they should be further, far along far enough along in development with that rumored um gorilla uh that rumored uh horizon multiplayer live service game that they show this show that off i think that should be far enough far uh along now that you that you show that you show that uh what else oh blue point games they they've been you know they since they released demon souls people uh they've been kind of teasing and hinting at what they've been making um we're not sure but that was in 2020 so you know they've been cooking since then so yeah, we expect to see from them and um maybe Bend cuz Bend hasn't released anything since uh Days Gone. Um I'm not sure exactly when they started working on that new IP that they said they were working on. Maybe it's not not ready yet. Uh House Mark? Uh maybe. It might be too soon for House Mark, not sure. I but I know it's been a long time and these PlayStation PlayStation Studios have have been cooking. First party been cooking in, in, in this amount of time. Oh, yeah, Haven Studios, that PlayStation decided to buy them uh, halfway through the, the development of their first game. So if you have that much faith in them, yeah, you better be ready to show that shit off. Oh, yeah, these, these first party studios got it because this is supposed to be the, 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 the second phase, as they call it, you know, internally, I believe, of, you know, the PS5. So you got to come out and kill this shit. Banger after banger, I need to know what these first party studios have been doing since you have kept me out of the loop for so goddamn long. And I think PlayStation has been quiet. I think it's partially the ABK deal. Fuck that thing. Um, because everybody has been so quiet because of, because of that. I think it's been partially because of that. But I think it's also because PlayStation has kind of adopted this policy where they don't want to show off shit that's that's three years away. Before they were okay with doing that. Oh, it's three years away. It's four years away. Fuck it. Show it off, even though we're not going to get it out no time soon. I don't think they're really doing that anymore. I think that we need release dates for a lot of this shit also. Let me just say that. Um, so I, I think when they show off a game, they want to release it within the next year or so. They, they want to they, they wanna, uh, show it off when it's damn near com completed. And I'm I I don't see nothing wrong with that. We already know we're gonna get we're gonna get to see Spider Man two, um, in depth gameplay because that comes out th you know this year. That's your only real you know your only real first party uh you know AAA game um outside of VR games that, that are coming out uh, out you know, uh so I expect to see extended gameplay. I'm sure they're gonna do like a state of play later on closer to that shit. Yeah, so that's just some of the shit that we've expecting like i said there's going to be indies we know there's going to be some third party deals um a lot of the games from that last showcase haven't been released so there's, we're going to see those again a little bit probably and get release dates an hour you can show off a lot of fucking shit in an hour and i expect to see a lot of shit i expect that an hour yeah 
Mortal Kombat is is most likely going to be shown off. The more, uh, based on what Ed Boon has been tweeting, we're probably going to see CG announcement of Mortal Kombat and probably see the gameplay uh, for it at the PlayStation Showcase because you know there, there's going to be some third party stuff also. So yeah, I'm I'm probably not going to make like a prediction video. I usually don't do prediction videos for showcases, um, but I just gave you some of the shit that I'm expecting. Um, Twist, I don't know if I mentioned, mentioned Twist and Metal, but yeah, definitely, uh, I'm actually uh, definitely expecting to see Twist and Metal factions and, and all that shit. Factions is going to be very important. That's the shit I'm probably looking forward to the most. Um, now, I'm going to be live streaming this, this, of course, this, this event, as I always do, live streaming it. And so we're going to have Weapon Wheel podcast this Sunday, of course, right? But then next Sunday, I won't be... I won't be home. So what we're going to do, and I'm talking to the uh, members right now, but I think, mo I think they'll be able to do it, is we are planning to do Weapon Will Podcast in the middle of the week right after this show. So that will be, so Weapon Will Podcast is most likely going to happen this Wednesday after this show, maybe around, maybe we'll do it, well, the show is out. Maybe we do it like 6 o'clock, 6.30. So there won't be a, a Weapon Will Podcast on the 28th, but there will be one on, on, on Wednesday, most likely. If it's not Wednesday, it's either going to be Thursday or Friday. So you're going to get a weapon wheel this Sunday, and then three days after that, um, I'm going to get another show uh, because obviously I want to be on weapon wheel to talk about this since I'm not going to be home um, that, the, the, fo the following Sunday. So you're still going to technically get your, uh, your, your episode, so nobody be bitching. So, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, hit the like button, all that good shit. Hit the notification bell so you can stay updated. Uh, hit up the Patreon, jump into Discord, all that, all that stuff. I will catch y'all on the next video. Yeah. Finally. Finally. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Peace.